Next is uh, part two. Form of statement of profit and loss. That is name of the company and profit and loss statement for the year end date and so and so. Here we should be right. Okay. So in this part two, uh, it is profit and loss statement, but not a account. Okay. We should be mentioning it is statement. because of in this profit and loss statement there is no debit and credits okay there is a prescribed format is given by companies act 2013 okay and uh, this is the format is uh, particulars note number current year amounts and previous year amounts and the uh, first one in this profit and loss statement its first one it is start with income okay that is uh, in this income is segregated as per two times that is uh, two types that is revenue from operations and other income so revenue from operations and other income okay these are the two main incomes okay and these two heads of incomes here it is segregated like this and the revenue from operations means the main source of the business is concerned or revenue from operations main source of the business income is comes to revenue from operations other than main source of the the nature as per the nature of the income so that is comes under other income other than that is a particular nature of nature of the okay business is comes to other income okay that is like that type of say incomes uh, we should be right under other income and uh, if you add this total these two amounts then you will get total revenue total revenue from this total revenue from this total revenue uh, first uh, we should be deduct the expenses but expenses has are uh, classified like this expenses are classified like this in this first one expenses first one expenses under expenses first one cost of material consumed okay we briefly discuss uh, this uh, what is the cost of material consumed in notes to accounts next purchases of stock in trade purchases of stock in trade and uh, exchanges in inventories of finished goods comma working progress and uh, stock in trade okay that is the changes of inventories of closing balances okay uh, next uh, two opening okay opening balances okay changes in inventories of is a working pro, work uh, finished goods opening minus closing and work in progress also opening minus closing and uh, stock in trade also opening minus closing these are the full details we are discussed under uh, notes to accounts notes to accounts and employee benefit expenses whatever is employee benefit uh, uh, expenses of the uh, employees that is our total expenses we should be write under employee benefit expenses example salaries and wages and outstanding salaries also we should be comes to employee benefit expenses okay this also has a notes to accounts so we briefly discussed under notes to accounts okay after after employee benefits next finance cost next finance cost finance cost means uh, the company whatever the uh, amount borrowed from financial institutions and uh, on that borrowed amount company has to payment to to uh, payment on that borrowings as a interest okay so company every company has to borrow some what amount from financial institutions and on that financial institutions every company has to pay interest that is a interest expenses is comes to finance cost finance cost okay next depreciation and amortization expenses depreciation we can calculate okay depreciation we calculated on fixed assets okay that is a decreasing the value value of fixed assets and amortization ex okay cost we calculated on intangible assets intangible assets 
ओके डिक्रीजिंग ऑफ इंटैंजिबल असेट्स इज कॉल्ड एज अमोटाइजेशन फाइनली वी शुड बी एंड बोथ द अमाउंट्स एंड ओके कम्स टू राइट दैट इज अमाउंट स्टेट टू दैट इज डिप्रिसिएशन एंड अमोटाइजेशन एक्सपेंसेस ओके सो दैट इज ओनली द डिस्कशन अबाउट दिस एक्सपेंसेस ओके next other expenses other than above expenses all those expenses is comes to other expenses like like advertisement expenses okay advertisement expenses and uh, any commission paid like that type of expenses is comes to other expenses then you should be total this expenses you should be total this expenses with this total expenses okay with this total expenses uh, with this total expenses we should be compute the profit before exceptional and extraordinary items and tax that is the total of revenue that is roman number 3 and the total of expenses okay total of expenses that is roman number 4 then the difference is profit before exceptional and extraordinary items in this expenses okay there is no expenditure of income tax okay that is the reason so the profit before exceptional and extraordinary items and tax also okay so before deducting these are the items the profit is okay you will get the profit like this so much okay next uh, exceptional item after that uh, okay this uh, computing this is the profit before exceptional and extraordinary items and tax the first you can deduct the exceptional items okay first you can deduct the exceptional items right exceptional item so that is maybe uh, exceptional items you should be deduct from profit before exceptional and uh, extraordinary items and tax then when you then you will get then you will get profit before extraordinary items and tax profit before extraordinary items and tax then after that you can deduct the extraordinary items extraordinary items and uh, then you will get profit before tax profit before tax so from this profit before tax okay deduct the current tax and deferred tax expenses okay first you can add these both the ones and uh, you can okay write outer column and deduct from profit before tax then after deducting this total you know, tax expenses from profit before tax then you will get profit or loss for the period from continuing operations from continuing operations okay after that profit or loss from discontinuing operations discontinuing means other than this business is there any discontinuing business operations is there any profits or losses you should be add or minus it is maybe add maybe plus value or minus value okay so after add or minus okay to the profit for the period Uh, then you will get tax expenses for uh, sorry uh, profit or loss from discontinuing operations and tax expenses also we should be deducted from uh, from this discontinuing operations if it is a profit you can deduct from this discontinuing operations and if it is a loss simply we can these are the expenses add to this loss from discontinuing operations then profit or loss from discontinuing operations after tax okay after tax that is 12 minus 13 12 minus 13 so means uh, from these two internally you can find first column you can do like this so this is a uh, definitely it is a minus value that is tax expenses of discontinuing operations is minus value and this is a minus value it's at or plus to uh, profit from profit or loss from discontinuing operations then you will get whatever the amount is called as profit or loss from discontinuing operations okay so already 
from this business you got profit or loss for the year profit or loss for the year if it is a profit then you can add this amount if it is a loss okay then you can deduct this amount okay if it is a place value if it is a both are place values you can add it or if it is there any minus one you can deduct one if it is both the minus values then uh, both the values you should be added okay next profit for the profit or loss for the period profit or loss for the period after discontinuing operations okay expenses or losses after, okay after deducting then you will get profit or loss for the period profit or loss for the period to this with this profit okay with this profit okay finally uh, that is earnings per equity share you should be calculated earning per equity share okay what is the price per equity share okay with this profit so whatever the profit for the period divided by divided by number of shares divided by number of shares then you will get earning per equity share okay that is basic value and dil diluted values okay we are discussing we will be discussed in problematics okay so orally this is only the profit and loss orally this is only the profit and loss uh, statement okay as per part 2 as per part 2 okay everyone should know this is the profit and loss statement okay everyone should know this is the profit and loss statement next we are going to notes to accounts notes to accounts this notes to accounts is briefly discussed about that profit and loss okay profit and loss statement items okay in this profit and loss statement item first one revenue from operations revenue from operations that is the revenue from operations we should be calculated like this that is sale of products okay sale of services other operating revenue Okay, if it is operating uh, service business, then it is operating revenue. Okay, we should be added. And the less excise duty, less excise duty. Is there any excise duty is given in the question? Then you should be direct from sale of products or sale of service. Okay, sale of products. Then, then uh, you will get that is the total amount. That is total amount. That is revenue from operations. Revenue from operations. This in this revenue from operations is there any sale of products or sale of services is there any returns that is a sales returns okay is there any sales returns we should be deduct we should be deduct from particular sale, sale of products okay so that is the important point uh, please be remember okay please be remember and uh, after revenue from operations this uh, then it is other income this revenue from operations is main source to the business okay and uh, other than these incomes all other comes under other incomes only okay yes so the un under other incomes then first one interest income means interest received next dividend income means it is dividend received okay and is there any accrued income also you should be add to particular income Next, profit on sale of investments, less loss on sale of investments. Is there any profit on sale of investments? Simply, uh, we, sh we should be, we should be, come, it should be comes under other income. In this, is there any loss? Simply deduct, is there any profit? Okay. So, if it is, is uh, if profit on sale of investments is not there, then directly, this the amount is shown as a negative value. Okay. Next, other non-operating income that is net of expenses directly attributable to such income. Other non-operating income, is there any such like that loss on sale of investments like that? Uh, then that is the amount simply we deduct from that which is a particular income and the remaining amount only we should be shown under other income. Other income. Okay. So that is only the main. Okay. That is only the total of other income in okay that is other income 
after adding of this uh, revenue from operations and other income it is total income okay so as per my profit and loss statement the profits are uh, classified like this after other income next one is expenses under expenses first one cost of material consumed cost of material consumed under this cost of material consumed first one opening stock of raw materials at purchase of raw material is there any returns simply you should be deducted from there only okay that is uh, deducted from purchase of raw materials only okay so after that adding of opening and purchase of raw materials then less closing stock of raw materials okay after deducting closing stock of raw material then you will get the total amount that is the total amount is called as cost of material consumed that is cost of material consumed is for raw materials is for raw materials okay please be remember it is raw material only okay is there any directly this material is given then on then also you can write under cost of material consumed no problem next it is changes in inventories next expenditure is changes in inventories and uh, that is a uh, uh, changes in inventories of finished goods working progress and stock in trade changes of inventories means that is change change means difference difference between inventories the inventories are finished goods working progress and stock in trade okay that is a difference of opening minus closing then that is the amount you should be taken into outer column is there any minus means closing value is more than it's here you should be show as a negative value okay is there any plus value then only you should, okay you should you can show as a plus okay after that plus or minus of this is the values then it is total amount if it is a total amount of uh, changes in inventories plus value you can that is the same amount you can write as in a plus if it is a minus value of this is the changes in inventories then that is the same amount you can write under as a minus only okay that is a minus value deducted from this particular okay expenses next after changes in inventories after changes in inventories next expenditure is employee benefit expenses means that is expenditure is related to employees okay whatever the amount is paid to employees that is uh, expenditures is comes to okay uh, we have to be shown under employee benefit expenses okay benefit to employee but not to the organization please be remember so in this first one salaries and wages and the contribution to pf other employee funds stock option expenses to employees staff welfare expenses also is comes to employee benefit expenses and employee medical expenses is there any medical okay uh, medical expenditure is paid by organization that is also is comes to medical employee benefit expenses and leave encashment also is comes to employee benefit expenses okay these are only the employee benefit expenses after employee benefit expenses next expenditure is finance cost finance cost that is finance cost is interest only na so that is interest on debentures interest on loans interest on overdraft interest on public deposits other borrowing cost other borrowing cost that is also is comes under finance cost okay so that is a finance cost total amount you should be shown as ne expenditure okay under expenditure after finance cost next amount okay next value is depreciation and amortization expenses that is depreciation on furniture building motor car vehicles and so on and so on that is depreciation on other tangible fixed assets depreciation on other tangible fixed assets next one Dip amortization on goodwill patents and amortization on other intangible assets any intangible assets is there any amortization value it should be taken into depreciation and amortization okay then whatever is the total amount you can write total and this is the amount we should be shown under um, expenses 
next expenditure is next expenditure is other expenses other expenses under this other expenses uh, consumption of stores consumption of spare parts power and fuel rent paid repairs and buildings and machinery insurance rate and taxes carriage outwards discount allowed rent and repairs selling and distribution expenses bad debts advertisement expenses commission paid next directors fees directors fees next one managing directors remuneration next payments to auditors and bank charges bank charges is comes to other expenses most of the students is writing under finance cost it is not a finance cost it is comes under other expenditure bank charges it is not any interest it is charges like atm charge and debit card charges or credit card charges like that okay service charges okay charged by banks okay it is not any interest only interest amounts okay interest uh, amounts only comes to finance cost okay other than interest amounts of bank uh, banking expenses that is bank charges like that so on that is the expenses is comes to other expenses other expenses okay this is only the briefly discussion about profit and loss statement as per companies act 2013 and uh, this is the part 2 okay revenue that is a profit and loss statement that is part 2 this comes under part 2 okay thank you thank you for thank you watching for this video okay please be subscribe for uh, for more videos